Hey everyone, welcome to a quick impromptu little video that I'm going to do to show you the differences between the three oldest Asahi Pentax cameras. Here we have the original, the Asahi Pentax AP. This is the Asahi Pentax S, which directly replaced it, and the Asahi Pentax K, which is a step up from it and it introduced some new features. So what I'm gonna do is line these up. I'm gonna put on a macro lens so we can see things up close and I can show you some of the differences between these as we go through them. And I'm also gonna grab my lapel mic and give you guys a chance to hear each camera's sound um, with some detail. Okay, so we're gonna start here looking at the top of the Asahi Pentax and one thing to notice is that we have over here the serial number and then there's no model designation. Next thing to notice are the shutter speed uh, options here on the fast shutter speed dial. 500, 200, 150, X, and then the slow speed dial and bulb. If we pull the S into frame right here, what we can see is that the only difference between the two of these is now we have the S and the shutter speed uh, numbers have changed and the actual physical speeds as well to the current arrangement of 500, 250, 125, 60, and 30. Um, so those shutter speeds have changed. That's in terms of shutter the difference between the Asahi Pentax and the S. If we pull the K into frame, what we've got here are now the model designation K and then the shutter speed dial uses the modern numbering as well as going up to a thousandth of a second. Also, you'll notice that the trim here is black instead of silver, as it was on the AP and the S. And the film rewind knob here is black instead of silver, or is black all the way around instead of being silver around with black insets. So those are a couple of cosmetic differences as well on the K. Next thing we're going to do is look inside of the shutter box on the AP. Try to angle this so you can see it a little bit better. And what you'll notice is that it's pretty much naked except for that housing which covers some of the mechanisms on the underside of the camera. There we go. The, the bottom there is completely naked. Now if we look at the S, bring that over into frame. There are two posts there in the bottom. Those have been added since the AP. And then if we look at the K, those two posts are holding the little flappy panel, which is connected to some mechanisms inside the camera. So my suspicion is that the main difference between the AP, the S, and the K in this regard is that those posts had to be added to the manufacturing process so that the K could have the flappy panel, and then they simply left the flappy panel off of the S. I think a solid question worth asking is if the S could be modified to have a flappy panel. I don't know the answer to that. That's it. That, those are the differences between the Pentax K, the, the Pentax S, and the Pentax AP. Oof. I mean, the, the cameras are otherwise identical. Insofar as I can tell, the, body, the, the top plates all seem to have the same casting. The chassis all have the same layout. All of them have the same eyepiece that lacks viewfinder uh, attachment grooves right there. They, by and large, use the same rewind knob and, and so forth, with the exception of the K having a slightly different one. There's a lot of, appear, appears to be from the outside at least a lot of part interchangeability between them. So the next thing I want to do is give you a close-up of how each of the different shutters sounds. So I know a lot of people would like to hear more shutter sounds in these videos, so um, I don't have anything better than my lapel mic to use right now, but here we're going to try this with my lapel mic and see how they turn out. You know, I think that the S might have an even nicer shutter sound than the AP does.
So I had been expecting that the AP would have the smoothest, quietest sounding shutter. Um, was a little bit surprised to see that it actually was the S. Um, and the K had a very harsh, almost standard spotmatic sounding shutter, which um, I definitely did not expect it to, to sound so much louder than the other two when compared to them uh, right next to each other. So those are really the differences between the three cameras. They're, the differences are small, but back in the day, these types of differences would have been considered uh, monumental between trim levels because the differentiations between different makers and models were significantly less than their, the differentiations are today. So, if you're a Pentax collector trying to figure out which one of these to get, go for the K. It's the most common, it's the most capable, and uh, it's the easiest to find. And for most collectors, not me, the K is the first one that they can find. For me, the AP was the first one that I found, and the S was the last. I think that sounds right. Anyway, if you are a collector who also likes to use cameras realistically, there's no reason to have all three because there is so much overlap. And if you have the K, you have everything that these ones can do. The only difference really being that the K can use more lenses. Um, in fact, it can use all of the ta all of the M42 Takumar lenses, and it's the only one of these three that can. That's that quick rundown on these cameras. If this video was helpful and answered some questions about these three different models of camera, then please leave me a thumbs up and let, let, let lets me know that I'm putting together content which is helpful and useful for you. If you have questions about these cameras or the differences between them, please leave them in the comments section below and I will, I check my comments every couple days or so, I'll get back to you. If you have photos you've taken at, and you are an amateur photographer with any of these cameras, please leave a link to that below. I'd love to see your work. If you have ideas for future videos, please let me know. And if I have the technical equipment and the, the know-how, if I have the technical knowledge and the equipment, I'm more than happy to make those. I've filmed like seven videos tonight. I am, my brain is shot. I'm sorry that I'm butchering the closing. <laughs> anyway. Uh, lastly, and mostly, most importantly, thank you everyone for watching, and I will see you in the next videos.